How do spirits act in our lives? Let's suppose you have a very loving mother who cared for you since childhood. And one day she transitions to the spiritual realm, becoming a spirit in the astral cities. So, I ask you, does your mother, after passing away, still care about you? Does she always come by your side to see how you're doing, to see if she can help you in situations where you feel challenged? I'm going to tell an interesting story. I had a ufology group in the 80s, and we were three mediums. It was me, another called Gilson, and another called Margarita. We used to go to the field for UFO watch, Gilson would channel the ETs, Margarita also channeled the ETs, including this big alien that is always by my side. She would channel and transmit their messages. There are very interesting stories to tell about a contact in the field with this medium. The whole story is fascinating, especially when this 2.5 meter tall alien, with a spaceship in the sky, came to talk to us for the first time. It's a very interesting story, and I will share it with you in the course we will be conducting here over the weekend at our ashram in the city of Limera. So, I'm going to tell an interesting story. My friend Gilson passed away, he was an English teacher, lived in the United States, and died there. He was an incredible medium. And Margarita, she passed away two years ago, but this friend of mine, she never forgot my birthday. Even after we finished the group, we would occasionally see each other. But on my birthday, she would come to my house and bring a gift. I have some plates she gave me as a gift, I think about 10 years ago. Every time I have dinner or lunch, I remember Margarita because of the plates she gave me as a gift. So, last year, my birthday was in July, on the 30th. And it happened to be from Saturday to Sunday. We were here on the farm, and she had passed away three months before. On Saturday night, I sleep here and go into the astral plane. I'm in an astral city, sitting with some friends in a place that looked like a diner but was something else. Suddenly, my friend arrives with a package in hand, saying to me, Lercio, look, it's me. Do you think even after death, I would forget about you? Give me a hug. Happy birthday, my friend. You have no idea, it was wonderful. My mother passed away at 83 in my arms. She took her last breath in my arms with two spirits by her side. I said, don't let my mother suffer, take care of her. She wasn't making much sense anymore when she departed, took her last breath, and the spirits took her. Three days later, I ascend to the astral city where she is, with her entire deceased family, her brothers, sisters, my grandmother, and all of them. I arrive, and my late aunt, Dona Teresa, comes to meet me. She says, I'm glad you came, let's go talk to your mother. My aunt guides me to where my mother is seated in a chair. There's no chair for me, so I sit on the floor in front of my mother, cross my legs, and hold her hand, spending an hour chatting with her. So, you have no idea how many spirits are around us, by our side. You have no idea about all that karmic command and all our karmic connections from the past, sometimes in the astral world, they are watching over us. They are following our spiritual development. And not to mention Jar, who monitors more than 100 of your parameters, 24 hours a day. All your medical parameters are monitored by Jar, such as blood pressure, heart rate, oxygenation, kidneys, lungs, all organs are monitored. If any problem arises, if you start to get sick, do you think no one up there knows you're sick? Of course, they do. Your relatives, siblings, friends come to help you, go there to ask the higher plane to interfere, to assist. Then, it's Jar who will decide whether it's a karmic experience or something you messed up. Sometimes we make mistakes, you know, eat something unhealthy, drink something that harms us a lot, or have a habit of smoking, for example, and only harm ourselves. You are the one who's self-destructing. So, there are certain things the beings from the astral plane can interfere with, promote healing, and sometimes that's the illness that leads you to an awakening, it takes you to a spiritual institution, takes you to a place for you to wake up and learn about your problems. So, never forget that spirits are constantly by our side, to assist us. Right now, as I'm speaking, there are several spirits around us, just observing, watching our unfoldment, and your surprised expression when I talk about them to you. They are watching everything, they see your reactions, especially the aliens, now there are quite a few grey aliens here, not just spirits, there's much more between heaven and earth than your vain philosophy imagines, as William Shakespeare used to say. Okay, namaste folks.